If you're like most people, your career is uninspiring, unremarkable, dare I say, forgettable. And the unfortunate reality is, over the course of 40 years, most of us will fail to leave any sort of mark or leave a lasting legacy in our career. And it's sad, really, when you consider that we spend a third of our lives at work and so few people have anything meaningful to show for it. Like most professionals, you probably started off your career all bright-eyed and bushy-tailed, fresh from college, ready to take on the world with dreams of grandeur. You were promised all of these wonderful things if you just handed over $100,000 for a piece of paper that said that you were worthy for a job. That is, if you can actually get one. Because as you see, and especially in today's economy, new graduates are entering into the workplace with almost no opportunity. And like most people, you apply for job after job after job after job, and all you get in return is a seemingly endless amount of rejection letters. At this point, you'll take a job, any job, just to get started in this career path that you were promised. And the ironic thing is, is even if you do land a job, it's rarely in something that you studied, and it's probably not even in a career path or an industry that you even care about. But nonetheless, you're just happy to have finally landed a job, and you're ready to get started in your career. And for the most part, the first two years are pretty decent. You're actually really motivated to learn, to absorb from all your team members, and you're trying to make a name for yourself. But before long, you get bogged down in your middling role, doing what seems like an endless series of mind-numbingly busy tasks the more senior people can't be bothered with. Day after day go by, filled with calendar invites that won't stop, and a seemingly endless amount of emails to check. Months slip into years, and before you know it, you're mid-career with not a whole lot to show for it. And one day, you wake up to an existential crisis where you realize that this is your reality for the next 40 years. All that corporate speak, all those meetings, all those birthday parties in the break room, this is what life is like in the corporate world, and it hits you like a ton of bricks. And before long, apathy sets in. You start caring less and less about your work, and more and more time hanging out with your boys at the bar, drafting your fantasy football league, and honing your video game chops. And this seemingly endless cycle has beaten you down, and you're just not sure how much longer you can fake it till you make it. As a result, your lack of passion affects your upward mobility. And after that other guy gets the promotion, you find yourself becoming increasingly jaded. One day, out of the blue, you get called into an office with HR on the other end, and they tell you that you're laid off. Then you head back into the job search process and repeat everything that you experienced just a few short years earlier. It's a fresh game of application rejection, application rejection, application rejection. And you get to the point where you declare that the workplace is broken. And at this point, you've probably perused anti-work forms and videos, and you probably left your fair share of trolley comments. And eventually, you end up landing another job that's not related to what you studied or even what you care about. But again, you got to put a happy face on because you need the income and you just want to survive. The problem here is that you're stuck in place. Your career is a seemingly endless hamster wheel and you're not making any meaningful progress forward. And the worst part is you may have become okay with that. Your job isn't challenging. You go through the paces just collecting a paycheck and inevitably you stop really caring about keeping current or even learning new skills to get promoted and move up the ladder. And in fact, you've probably become jaded and said, it's not even worth doing it, what's the use? So you end up doing just enough to get by and nothing more. And the brutal reality is, most people have a series of jobs rather than a career, and that's an important distinction. A job is something that you do, whereas a career is something that you build upon. Most people go from job to job to job to job, all at the same level with no rhyme or reason. A career is something you aspire to and you take the necessary steps incrementally over a long period of time to build towards something. And when you're feeling apathy in your career, it's often because you don't have a definable strategy in mind, you have no clear destination of where you're heading, and therefore, your career can seem like a seemingly endless series of jobs that are very similar to one another. In other words, very boring. And in order to understand how this happens, you have to go back to the genesis of this story. You see, most of us enter the workplace without any idea what to do. 
There's no strong mentors, no path to follow, and we're expected to figure it out on our own. We're essentially kicked out of the proverbial nest without any guidebook. And this is a drastic difference from school because it's so regimented. Everything that we do has a curriculum. You know exactly what courses you need to take for your specific major, and you have milestones that you meet on a regular basis in order to graduate, but not so much in the corporate world. That level of structure just doesn't exist. There's no handbooks or career counselors working at these companies that tell you what to do, how to get promoted, how to have a career, what to do next. It's basically up to you to figure it out. I know it's easy to say that there are no rules in the game. Everything is broken. It doesn't matter what you do. And the reality is, is that there are rules, even though sometimes it might feel like they're completely broken. And the key here is to have a final destination in mind when you begin, a proverbial mountain that you need to climb and taking consistent and proactive steps in order to reach it. But you wanna make sure that you're taking bite-sized steps so that you can make consistent progress stay motivated and keep your eye on the prize. And only after you've identified what your long-term career target is, do the tools of the trade come into play. Your resume, your cover letters, your LinkedIn strategy, and your interview skills. And of course, you don't wanna neglect the necessary skills that you need to acquire at the right times in your career, because those are all going to play a part in how you get to your final destination with authority. So that's why your career is probably boring and what you can potentially do about it. And if you're somebody that's stuck in a boring career and you need some help establishing career strategy and what to do next, I created a course called The Ultimate Career Blueprint to help you out. Anyway, I appreciate you watching. We'll see you on the next one.